Welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is D. And today we're gonna to take a look at a pretty big eBay haul that I picked up. Now I was waiting for all of it to come in. You know when you order uh, stuff on eBay, you're probably gonna, if you're buying movies on eBay, you're probably gonna buy from multiple sellers. If you're like me and you're shopping for price, you're gonna you're gonna buy from the cheapest. And that might be from, you might, 10 movies you might be picking up from like maybe three, four different sellers just to get the price you want. So everything came in. The, the haul is now complete. So let's go ahead and dive in. I already showed you one film from the hall, The Die Hard, but we're going to go over it again. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this 11 title pickup. Now, one is a box set with five titles in it, so this is a 16 title pickup. But let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this eBay haul. First up is a film that I think is just fantastic, and that is Heredity. Um, now, the last movie night pick, we did The Sixth Sense, and I forgot Tony Collette's name. So, I don't know how I forgot it, but Tony Collette is a dynamic actress. She is so, I'm not going to say she's underrated, because I don't think she's underrated. I think people who know her really enjoy her work. Um, I think the films that she star in get really great acclaim. But I'm not going to say she's overrated or underrated, but I don't know if she's rated where she should be, because she is awesome. Did you guys see The United States of Terra? That man, this this woman is on fire. Everything she's in is is absolutely awesome to me. Heredity is a really good, suspenseful, creepy film. Go ahead and check out Heredity. Next up, now I, you guys remember me saying that I don't have a lot of Marvel titles because they're just expensive. Even in the secondhand market, Marvel Studio titles are pricey. But whenever I can find a Marvel title for under 10 bucks, I jump right on it, especially if it's one that I don't have. Now, there's a couple that are cheap in the secondhand market, like the Iron Man movies. They're, they're especially two and three, because I thought two and three was garbage. Two and three was garbage. I got the first one. I might get, if I find two and three, I don't know, both of them for like five or six bucks for both of them. I might get it just to add to the Marvel Studio collection, but I just thought Iron Man two and three was absolute trash. But, <clears throat> This one here is the best Thor movie out of all three of the Thor movies. Thor Ragnarok, eight bucks. Oh yeah, I was definitely jumping on this one. This was eBay. This is a legit Blu-ray. Let's go ahead and open it up. Cause for that price, I thought it was like a bootleg or something. It looked like it was probably a Redbox rental that they didn't return. That happens, or it might've been an overflow from Redbox. Cause I think they sell their overflow movies too. So it's got the little, little scanners, little barcode things here. That the red box reads when you stick them in either way it worked out great for me eight bucks for thor ragnarok on blu-ray next up is the death of superman this was a great uh dc animated movie now i will say this <clears throat> this one did a little bit better for us sticking to the source material than the doomsday one we just I just did that one in my animated box sets video, but this one did a little bit of a better job. It's still straight away from the graphic novel. If you guys remember the Death of Superman graphic novel that came out many years ago, this straight away from that source material, but this was closer than the Doomsday one. So this is a special edition. Um, I bought it used, but it looked like it's new, still wrapped in the original shrink wrap. It's got the original Best Buy sticker on it. Um, this is a Best Buy special edition. It's got a graphic graphic novel included, and it's still there. So that's what me. A lot of times, these guys they buy these pallets, these um these pallets off of like Best Buy. You can buy Best Buy customer return pallets, and if you return this to Best Buy, now this is new, so they could return this to the shelf. But a lot of times, even something brand new Best Buy, they will just you know put it in a pallet and sell it off. Next up is Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock's Cox, <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, on DVD on Blu-ray, Steelbook, six bucks. Now this may or may not be brand new. I doubt if it's brand new. It's just free shrink wrap. It don't look like original shrink wrap, but look at that Steelbook. It's a black and white film. It's the original. It's not none of the remakes or anything. This is Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. 
Next up, I needed this to complete my Jason Bourne series. This is the last one I was holding out on. And this is Jason Bourne. I did not see this one, so I can't speak too much on it. I know that Jason Bourne has come back. I know he took a break for, he didn't do Legacy. That was, I think that was Gerard Butler who did that one. But this, no, that wasn't Gerard Butler. I'm sorry, guys. I forget his name. He's the guy who plays um, Green Arrow. So I, I just forget his name, bro. And um, here we go. Jason Bourne. This will round out my, uh, the, the Jason Bourne series or legacy, whatever you want to call it. Next up is, this is part of a three movie trilogy. And I think the last one I need to complete this trilogy is Lone Survivor. Um, this is Deepwater Horizon. I didn't see this one yet, but I saw Patriot's Day and that was really good. Mark Wahlberg, again, I don't think he's the best actor in Hollywood. I said that before I say it again. He's okay. Don't get me wrong. He did some stuff that I liked. Patriot's Day, I liked. Um, I I saw the trailers for this. I think I'm going to like this one. And um, if this one is good, just like Patriot's Day was good, I'll grab Lone Survivor. I think that's the, the one in this set that he did. Uh, he did three movies for this one director. So, Deepwater Horizon. Four bucks. <laughs> now this one, this is a Marvel release that I found on eBay. Now it was a little bit more than ten bucks, but I think I got a bargain at twelve bucks. I think I got a bargain on this one, guys. Captain Marvel with the slip in fantastic condition for twelve bucks. This was the cheapest I've seen it. Now. I've seen other sellers for around the same price. This one was 12 bucks with free shipping. Now, some of them are 12 bucks with three, four dollars shipping, blah, blah, blah. 12 bucks straight up, Captain Marvel. That's a win, in my opinion. Because there was a lot of hate around this movie. People, the media will hate anything. They hate her for her stance on certain things. Okay, fine. The movie was fine. I have no problem with the movie. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I think she did a good job as Captain Marvel. Next up, we took a look at this in the last video I did, but we're going to look at it again. This is the... Let's take this off. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I need this to scan it because there's no barcode on this. Yeah, that's fine. I'll use that to scan it into my CLZ. This is the Die Hard Collection. It's a steel book, Blu-ray, all five films in this small footprint. That is the inside. Now, if you follow my videos, we went into this one on my last, uh, uh, one of my last videos. So this is just a Die Hard collection on Blu-ray. Steel book, 15 bucks. That's a win. Here's one that I picked up on, on DVD, but I seen it for like four bucks. The new Jumanji. On Blu-ray, so I will be upgrading this one. This is an upgrade for me. It was good. It, it was. I'm not gonna say it was better or worse than the original. It was different. I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the original. I enjoyed this one. And the reason why I upgraded it to Blu-ray is because they're coming out with a second one, and I'm gonna get that one on Blu-ray. So I already have this one waiting on Blu-ray to complete that set. So this is Jumanji. Great cast. Good movie. Really, I mean, really good. A little bit. It the same premise as the first one, but it was. Went in a little bit of a different direction. Good movie. Next, we got two more. Now, this is a film that I enjoyed. A lot of people didn't. Some people thought it was whack. It's another Dwayne Johnson movie. But I I enjoyed it. Rampage. Um, this was... <laughs> it, it caught me off guard. Because I really wasn't expecting much from this. I saw it before I actually bought it. That's why I actually purchased it. Because... I saw it and I was, didn't go into it with high expectations, but if you've seen it, you'll know it's pretty good. It, it's not, you know, groundbreaking or anything, but it's, it's. I'll tell you what, as far as Dwayne Johnson go, it's better than San Andreas. I'll, and I'll leave it on that note. Five bucks. Next up is a classic that I <clears throat> saw a long time ago and I wanted this in my collection. And I'm glad I was able to find it for a decent price on Blu-ray. That is 
Quigley Down Under with Tom Selleck. This right here is a really great Western. I really enjoy Western movies. I really, really enjoy Western movies, especially a well-done Western movie. Quigley Down Under is a well-done Western movie. This will go really nice in my Western collection. In fact, I'm going to do a video and show you my Westerns. Now, again, when I say I got a lot of Westerns, I don't have all the Westerns. I don't have any of the um, John Wayne stuff. I don't have, I don't think I have really much of the Clint Eastwood stuff. However, I am going to start collecting all the Clint Eastwood stuff. The John Wayne stuff, I don't know. I, I do, I will get the Clint Eastwood stuff, but this here is Quigley Down Under. Guys, check this one out. This is really good. And that will complete the haul. Let's go ahead and recap this haul. We got, let's pick them all up here. We got Heredity. We got Psycho on Steelbook. We got The Death of Superman, Special Edition. We got Thor Ragnarok. We got Quigley Down Under. We got Rampage. We have Jumanji. We have the Bruce Willis Collection, Die Hard. We got Captain Marvel. Deepwater Horizon. Jason Bourne. Well, that's the haul. Uh, probably be the last haul for a bit. Last pickup, last haul for a bit. I'll see you again. And the next video will be a comparison. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to do a sneak peek at my Westerns. I'm going to show you all the Westerns I have. It's probably about 10, if that. But, you know, I really do like Westerns. So we're going to take a look at the Westerns and we're going to talk about them. Um, and then I want to do a, a in-depth comparison of two Westerns in my collection that I really think are just, are worthy of a comparison. It's Wyatt Earp and Tombstone. You guys know, who know these movies know, they are about Wyatt Earp. Both of them are basically about Wyatt Earp and the shootout at the OK Corral. Or is it the Alamo? <laughs> Sorry about that. But we're going to get into that. We're going to break down those movies because it's, it's a little bit of debate. Not a lot of debate. I think the winner of the challenge between those two really is Tombstone. But there are some people who thought Wyatt Earp was better. I thought Wyatt Earp had some better elements to it. But overall, I think Tombstone was a better movie. And I'm going to tell you real quick without going too deep into it now. I think what was the X factor between both movies was Val Kilmer's portrayal as Doc Holliday. He, he was Tombstone. If it wasn't for Val Kilmer portrayal of Doc Holliday, I think Wyatt Earp would have won the better film. My opinion, we're going to dive into that a little bit more and we'll see what you guys have to say about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.